Okay, this is the review of Math 126, uh, test number one. Uh, you should have downloaded this already. It'll make it easier if you kind of follow along uh, with what we have here. I also want to mention that at the end of this is the list of review problems. These are lists from the, the e-textbook uh, where you can do some additional problems. So I highly encourage you to take a look at those kind of problems as well. Because the idea here is you want to try and do as many of these problems as you can to where instead of memorizing the problem itself, you actually understand the concept behind it. So if you do problems over and over again, eventually uh, the numbers change. It's not going to matter because you're going to understand the underlying concept. So I've created this sample test that has a couple different variations. Now one thing to note on here is the actual exam here says at the top was only going to have 13 questions. So even though I've got all these different ones that we're going to look at here uh, in this series of videos, uh, there'll only be one of each kind. So for instance, there's a 1A and a 1B, for instance. That means that question number one in the test will be a problem either like A or uh, like B, something like that. I tried to give you a couple different variations, and so that way you have some more problems to practice. So it's good to make sure you know how to do all the problems around here, but just know that the test is not going to be uh, this long. Uh, so again, it's only going to have, uh, for this test here, test one, it'll have uh, 13 questions on it. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, start. So uh, 1A, we're going to do uh, the first part, we're going to do I. So it says a distance from A to B. So any kind of formula that I put up here uh, that I'm using on these problems, you're going to be responsible, you have to be responsible for knowing that particular formula. So for instance, you want a distance. The one you want to use here is the distance formula. So this is the formula that you want to make sure you know for the test. So uh, what it is, is the difference in the x is squared and the difference in the y is squared. And it should look like that. So we're given these two points. Uh, and that would be the same on the regular test. You'll be given uh, some points. So what you can do here is if you want to label each of these points, so we're going to do x1, y1, and x2, y2. Then you can put these points into the formula, and then you'll get the answer. So let's do that for this one. We're going to take the difference in the x's. So we're going to do 8 minus negative 4 squared. We'll do the difference in the y's, negative 2 minus 3 quantity squared. And we just keep on going until we simplify it all the way down. So we get here 12 squared, and this is negative 5 squared. And when, when you work that out, you're going to get the square root of 144 plus 25 will give you 169. And then finally, that's going to give you 13. So 13 would be uh, your answer. There's no special units that you have to do on this one because uh, there's no units given. There's just uh, two points. So your distance would just be basically 13 units. Let's take a look at the next part. Okay, for the next part, we want to ask for the midpoint of the line segment connecting A and B, so you have to know the midpoint formula. Let's go ahead and write that one. That's the average of the x values and average of the y values. So we're going to do x1 plus x2 over 2, and then we need the other section of it as well here. So we also need, it's a coordinate, so you need to make sure you have uh, both these coordinates given here. So you need to have both of these as your answer because you're actually finding the coordinate that's halfway between A and B is what you're doing. So average of the X values, average of the Y values. Another formula you have to know. Okay, let's put in the numbers. X1 plus X2, we're gonna do negative four plus eight over two. And we're gonna do the average of the Y values. So three plus negative two over two. So again, average of the X's, average of the Y's. Then that's gonna simplify down you're going to get 4 over 2, which is 2, and 3 minus 2 is 1, so we get 1 half, and then that would be your answer. Again, this, this point right here would be the point exactly halfway between A and B. Okay, for part 3, they want the slope of a line passing through A and B, so you have to know the slope formula. This is another formula you want to know for the test. The slope formula is the difference in y's over the difference in x. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is the formula. We're going to plug in the numbers that we see here. Uh, so you're going to do 
negative 2 minus 3 over 8 minus negative 4. And if you simplify that, we get negative 5 over positive 12. And then that would be your answer. So just asking for uh, the slope of a line. If we drew a line through A and B, then it would have a slope of negative 5 twelfths.